Welcome to Bulletproof DIT training. This is the workflow that I learned whilst working on productions for BBC, Channel 4, Channel 5 and ITV. You've got your two drives. So this is your backup drive, number one. Second backup drive, number two, or your transport drive, which you would send to the edit. And then I'd recommend having a third master drive, which you would keep with you or keep in the office, depending on what you're doing. So you have something that you can view all the rushes on at any point. Someone wants to see, can we see what we filmed last Thursday? you'll have a bigger drive that has everything on as these, you know, they only have two, four terabyte. You probably get through that quite quickly. So it'd be good to have a master G-RAID. If it doesn't allow, two's fine. You should be fine with two. Format using Mac OS extended. But if you're going to be using PCs and Macs, use XFAT. So what will happen? You will have some rushes delivered to your rushes you've shot. You put some tape on them. You write on the tape what it is, FX6, card one, and then it goes in your box on the right-hand side of your computer. Card does not go back over here until it's been through the beautiful process that I'm gonna take you through. Okay, you're gonna fire up your shot put pro. You're gonna fire up real nice, and you're gonna fire up parachute. You take your card, obviously, pop it in your computer, use your card reader. So here's your shot put pro, okay? I would really recommend using this. You do have to pay for it, but I think it's worth it. Got the demo, you get 10 free pops at it, so you can give it a practice first. We're gonna make a new preset. So this production is the bulletproof dip. We will call it dip. Then we're gonna put the date. Then we're gonna have camera, the operator, and we're gonna have the card number. I need to make sure it's going to my drives. So I'm gonna click to the plus here, and I'm gonna send it to bulletproof dip here. And I also wanna send it to bulletproof dip here. So it's gonna make the two copies. So the other thing you wanna do is just check in your settings. Make sure this is selected. This gives you like a nice PDF report of basically what you've done, um, which I'll show you after, but just make sure this is selected. Then what we're gonna do is drop, drag and drop the card that you wanna copy over. Hit play and the workflow will begin. So next what you wanna do, which will make your life super easy, is you open up real nice drag and drop your card. So we're using a beautiful spreadsheet to track all our metadata. You can customize the columns above. Copy selected, paste it into my spreadsheet, and then I have my reel, my size, my first clip, my last clip, my clip count. Depending on how big your card is, you can now go back to Shopper Pro and see here mine was 27.4. And I have this really nice, beautiful little PDF that's saved in next to the card where I can check that it was verified and it all copied over, okay. For my last trick, you're gonna fire up Parachute and you're gonna go into Settings in Parachute and then you're gonna set your backup destinations as the two drives. You can see here there's an option to add more or less. I've only got two, so I've set it at two. When the operator puts their card back in their camera, they won't be able to see the rushes that were on there. They won't have to worry about whether this card has been backed up or not. Now what I can do is I can go up to here and I can click Erase Untitled. So I can essentially erase my SD card. It quickly checks the two locations I've chosen to see if the card is backed up in both locations. If you put the card back into the computer, you'll get this error message, but if you can just ignore that, you click on the little card on the top right corner, you click Restore Card, and it'll restore the whole card for you. If you've got a sound card, I wouldn't run this software on there. If you follow these steps, you won't lose anything and you won't have to stress or worry about human error. This is the wee video I really wish I'd had when I was on my own, crying in a hotel room on my first data wrangling job. But it's all right, we got through it. Hopefully now no one else has to go through the pain that I went through.